Hey guys, Dr. Jacob Gooden here, and some of you know that I do a lot of strength testing for the athletes that I monitor in my sports science practice here at Point Loma Nazarene University. Well, today we have a real treat because John Hack, the world's strongest powerlifter, and two other record-holding powerlifters are here to do that exact same strength test. The test I'm talking about is the isometric mid-thigh pull. The isometric mid-thigh pull is a scientific test that we use in sports science to monitor the strength and the changes in strength of our athletes over time. Now, typically I'm testing soccer athletes athletes, tennis athletes, runners, to look at their peak force and the rate of force development. But today we're gonna to see what these world-class powerlifters can do. Here we have Garrett Blevins, John Hack, and Chris Dunsmore. They will be the victims for today's challenge. But before we see them do the isometric mid-thigh pull, first we have to warm up. So I'm gonna run them through the standardized warm-up protocol that all of our athletes do before they test. Okay, the athletes are all warmed up, but before we show you their pulls, let me tell you a little bit about the isometric mid-thigh pull and why we use it for sports science. So come on over here. This is the setup. Now, typically in a collegiate strength and conditioning gym, we would do this out of a rack and we would rig up a system to set the bar in place. This was made exactly for the isometric mid-thigh pull. So down here, we have the force platforms. They're collecting data at a thousand times per second and they transfer it directly to an iPad. So you can see the force time curve in real time. This is important because when we give feedback in sports science, we want it to be immediate and to affect the next repetition. So what we'll do is we'll strap them into this bar with straps and tape as well so they can't go anywhere, they can't run away. And then the force plate will capture all of the output of their musculature. So when they pull on that bar, what's happening is their leg muscles are driving that force directly into the force plates and we will capture it on our devices. We can see the peak force, the rate of force, and the asymmetry between the right and the left sides, as well as a bunch of other nerdy numbers that we can nerd out on later. All right, so we're gonna select isometric test. We're gonna go up to isometric mid thigh pull because that's what we're doing. Hit next, turn on the camera so that it will sync the video with the force time curve tracing. Now we're ready to test. The force plates are gonna zero out. I'm gonna hit start. It takes a second. Boom, we're done. Now Chris is gonna step on and we're gonna get the baseline measurement. She's gonna hold still. And now we're ready. So we see the force time curve tracing. We have the total force and then the right and the left force here in these two lines. Okay, go ahead and grip the bar. We're gonna do a 50% effort test. Ready position. Put tension on the bar. Three, two, one, pull, 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 and rest. Good, and you can see the algorithm is trying to determine where the start and the stop is. We're gonna do 75% effort pull. Get in the ready position. Three, two, one, pull, 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 rest. So she pulled 2,000 just on the warmups. That's pretty good. That's already higher than most of our female team sport athletes. So the reason why we use straps and tape is because we do not want grip to be a limiting factor. If the brain knows that you're securely strapped into the bar, it usually allows for more flow through, throughput to the muscles, more force output. So I'm going to tape Kristen into the bar right now. <laughs> go ahead and spread your fingers. There we go. Of course I have an itch. Yeah, can't, <laughs> can't scratch that itch now. Okay, you guys ready to cheer? When I say three, two, one, pull, I need you guys to just yell pull as hard as you can. Okay, Kristen, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, this is gonna be as fast and as hard as possible. Okay, power position, tension on the bar. Three, two, one, pull! <laughs> you got another one in you? We need at least two so I we know, can get an average. All right, Kristen's had her rest. We're going for take number two. You guys ready? All right, Kristen, power position, tension on the bar. Three, two, one, pull! Good. All oh, right at the end there. 
You guys weren't yelling with me. Oh. What was that? All right, rated force on her first rep, which was her best rep, 3,200 Newtons. Rate, uh, sorry, peak force, 3,200 Newtons. Rate of force development, 3,700 Newtons. Left to right asymmetry, almost zero. That's pretty good, especially compared to her second rep, where she had a pretty big asymmetry there, left to right. Which side did you say was weaker? Your right, glute. Well, my right side is the, dare I say injured, but the right. side I have issues with. The side you have issues with, yes. okay, that makes sense to you. There is, oh, I think, like a little bit of a learning curve though, because you don't really know. And I have Athletics right there. there so. All right, Garrett, you're up. Is there a rule about belts on this? No, no. You can wear belts, right? You can try. Wear a belt. I think since I can't unlatch it, though, I will pass up. Okay. I'm gonna skip. I can unlatch it for you. Well, it's all right. No, it's all right. It's I can also take shoes. Um, <laughs> so do you, you want to go one down, or is that good? I think if anything, one higher, but that's probably good. Okay. okay. Feels good. Feels great. Feels great. Amazing. Tension on the bar. Three, two, one, pull, 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 Fasten as hard as you can, Gary. Can I put my feet as wide as I want on oh, I'm trying to <laughs> We've never had a sumo IMTP. Power position, tension on the bar. Three, two, one, pull! Oh. Good. Dang. Dang. I don't know if you guys can see this on there, but that went through the roof. Are you... Uh, Surviving for a second. I almost lost it about part way through the. You want me to unlatch your belt? No, no, the belt's loose enough. It's good. It's good. Okay. okay. Oh, my hamstrings. Yikes. All right, guys, Garrett's feeling it in the hamstrings. Uh, go ahead and give a like down below. Every like <laughs> will go increase to his recovery costs. <laughs> his recovery funds. Medical bills funded by ad revenue. Yes. He has a meet coming up, so. Patreon accepted. Ready position. Tension on the bar. Three, two, one, pull! Good. Oh, Garrett, you're so close to 6,000. So close. Five, nine, nine, six. 6,000 Newtons. The first one is five, nine, nine, four. Rate of force was off the charts, 13, seven on that first one. A little bit slower, actually quite a bit slower on the second one. I'm sure you guys could see in the video on the first one, he just ripped into the bar. On the second one, it was more of a gradual pull. I think he was, I think he was feeling it a little bit. Now we do need to check. I think there was a bit of a counter movement on that first one. He had a bit of a counter movement, which kind of cheats the rate of force development, but still a very impressive pull. We're gonna do 50% and a 75% effort warm up. Okay. So go ahead and grab the bar and your grip width. I remember my first time using straps. I haven't used straps in a while. Three, two, one, pull, rest. Good. Almost 4,000 on his 50%. I, so, I feel like that was more than 50%. Though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm expecting that. over eight. Give him a couple extra rolls around. Stand still. Power position. Three, two, one, pull! Good. All right, how'd that feel? I had it. The size of the platform came off the ground. Yeah, you got one more in you? Yeah. Okay, we'll give John a bit of a rest and then we'll take a look at the numbers. All right, power position, tension on the bar. Three, two, one, go! All right, let's take a look. 54. Damn. 54. 
Still impressive. Still a very high pull. This is that's between Garrett and John, the highest numbers that I've seen on these force plates. Clearly, if Taylor Atwood was here, he would set the record straight about what a real mid thigh pull is. Okay, guys, that was insane. It, the results were very different than I thought that they would be. First of all, big pulls from all three of our athletes today. Second of all, I thought John was going to be at the top because he does have the strongest deadlift, but we saw that. Garrett came out on top, especially with that first rep where he really ripped it right from the get-go, had a really high RFD. All in all, stronger pulls than we see from most of our team sport athletes, but in all honesty, compared to their deadlift numbers, for these athletes, I expected the numbers to be higher. Now, the strongest pull I've ever seen in person is actually from a female volleyball player that I tested when we were at ETSU. She tested over 6,000 Newtons in her pull. So, some takeaways from this. The first is ecological validity in testing. If we're testing strength athletes in a different position, in a different method, right, isometric versus dynamic, then they're used to lifting in, then they're used to expressing strength, well, then there's gonna be some sort of a learning effect. And if it's their first time doing this test, they're not going to be able to express full strength in that test. The second takeaway is that different labs and different setups with different force plates, we want them to be as standardized as possible, but sometimes comparing data from one lab to another, or one force plate manufacturer to another, or one algorithm for assessing the force time curve to another, we can arrive at slightly different results. So that's why in sports science, the methods with which you collect the data are important. The tests that you select to track the data is important. And you wanna make sure that you are measuring and tracking what you think you're measuring and tracking. So it was fun to have these guys in the lab today. Huge shout out to John Hack, Garrett Blevins, and Kristen Dunsmore for hopping onto the IMTP and giving it a go. I will see you guys on the next video. Like and subscribe, do all the youtube -y things down in the comments. Um, check out our new app, Evolve AI, if you guys want customized AI-driven but user-empowered programming. The link is in the description. Catch you guys in the next video. Greatness lives inside all of us. Evolve AI uses evidence-based research and innovative artificial intelligence to optimize your workouts so you can get results faster. Evolve AI. Unlock your potential. Dr. Gooden here back with another lecture.